Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Now today we're going to be taking a look to see how the iPhone SE first generation handles the latest beta release of iOS 14, iOS 14.5 beta 2. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. So as usual with betas, there's really not much to talk about when it comes to overall performance. Apps launch in the same amount of time as in beta 1, games run fairly smoothly, especially after considering this device's age and hardware, loading up web pages takes a little time, etc. There has been no increase or decrease in general performance since updating to iOS 14.5 beta 2 in my experience. Now RAM management is about the same, but that's not entirely a good thing. This iPhone only has 2GB of RAM and nearly 6 year old hardware, so it does well in that aspect, however there are frequent reloads especially as you have more apps open and naturally heavy apps. Animations have been very smooth in this release. Immediately after updating iOS 14.5 beta 2, I've noticed that animations are so much smoother than they were previously. Occasional stuttering does remain, such as in the app library and widgets page. Now while animations do continue to get smoother, I'm starting to believe that the app library and widgets stuttering will remain. Now before I get into battery, I should take a second to mention that my iPhone SE is running off of a maximum capacity of 87% and has definitely seen at least a single restart. Well, as I'd hope at this point. However, I've manually disabled performance throttling, meaning that my iPhone SE is not being performance throttled. Now, battery life on the iPhone SE while running iOS 14.5 Beta 2 is slightly improved over Beta 1 and about the same as iOS 14.4 in my experience. It's still much better than it was on iOS 14.3 or 14.2, but you shouldn't expect to get a full day out of it unless you don't use it a lot. Now, standby time is still decent with a drain of about 9% per night. Keep in mind that your battery performance can and will most likely vary from mine. Now as for overheating, I haven't really noticed anything dramatic. So far we're just looking at slight overheating when performing very light tasks. Naturally that overheating does get more severe as the task gets progressively heavier. While we only see minor improvements in certain areas, there seems to be nothing getting worse, which is what we'd like to see. However, we still make our way back to the main question of should you update. If you're on a previous release of iOS 14, such as iOS 14.4, iOS 14.3, iOS 14.2 or earlier, I'd recommend waiting for the public release of iOS 14.5 before updating. If you're on an iOS 13 release, I'd only recommend updating to iOS 14.4 and only if you're already experiencing battery drain and overheating. Now if you're on iOS 12 or earlier, I'd recommend staying there unless you absolutely have to update. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now if you do have any questions or you just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment. And of course, definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description down below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.